Hi guys, good morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you are. It is nighttime where I am at right now, and I'm a bit disappointed that my favorite athlete, Abby Steiner, is not going to Worlds. But guys, any given Sunday in track and field, I know at least 30% of you guys are Abby Steiner fans. I understand. It was one of those races where you had Gabby Thomas back from injury from last year. You had Shikari Richardson in the right mental state, and athletically, Richardson has been flawless. So it created a very competitive environment at Nationals. That's all I can say about it. But I have further news from FlowTrack because they released news stating that Abby Steiner has some type of foot injury. I'm not sure exactly the technical term, but I'll leave a link to the flow track video and she will be missing out on the rest of the season. So the Diamond League, don't expect to see Abby Steiner in there. It's a bit disappointing. Um, as a YouTube content creator, I could tell you guys that Abby Steiner drew five to six times more views than the average sprinter on my channel. And that's is shown across different content creators as well, aside from NBC, because NBC has a really big reach. So seeing that athletes take a break is going to impact a lot of things. How definitely viewership might be impacted, basically lower than if she was in competition right now. It is what it is. But hopefully, I just want Steiner to take care of herself, rest that foot, um, go through surgery and she says she'll be back in the olympics or getting ready for the olympic trials next year i am at the mind frame of hey don't rush it if you need to skip the olympics to skip it get a hundred percent healed up because foot injuries are one of those things that can be kind of funny and she has been through an injury before an acl specifically back i guess sometime between her high school and college somewhere around that time frame. So it's delicate that she not rush healing up. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, it's been a great season so far for her. She had her personal best, actually season's best of 2207, which is the best time she's ran this year. Um, now I do want to jump focus to other athletes. Shout out to Gabby Thomas, winner of the 200 meters, 2160. I think that's definitely a world lead meet record and personal best for Gabby Thomas. Uh, Shakari Richardson, 2194. She went beast mode during the first round. Kayla White, out of nowhere. And I know a subscriber of mine mentioned Kayla White about a week ago. She is a shocker because I did not expect her to be top three, but she ran a 2201. And I believe she was the first ever high schooler to break the 11 second barrier basically running under a basically running a sub 11 that was kayla white and that probably took place in 2019 one of you guys is gonna fact fact check me i know you guys are abby steiner again fourth place and it is what it is guys tanisha terry excellent job 22 17 her personal best maybe she wants to go out and add the 200 meters as a regular jenna prandini is not making the cut to Worlds 22.43. Tamara Clark, 22.45. I did not expect that. That was interesting because she had a good first round. She had a good semifinal. So something happened here because this is rather odd. And if I look at the breakdown, it seemed like she slowed down pretty early during the race, the competition. And shout out to Mia Bray Peterson, 17-year-old high schooler, ran a 22.65. She reached her personal best in the semifinals of 22.58. This is the future of women's track and field right here in the next four years because this lady is only going to get better. And you have Shanti Jackson, also a senior, but going to Arkansas next season. Um, Arkansas is really going to have a strong program. Wherever Mia Bray Peterson goes, whether it's Oregon, whether it's South Carolina with Abby Steiner's old coach, I don't know, but those two high school athletes are going to make an impact in track and field because this season they made it to nationals. <laughs> in the next four to five years, you better believe they will be doing something at nationals. Um, yeah, so 
definitely I'm a big Abby Steiner fan. I just want her to get some rest. I even, and I'll be straight up with you guys. I don't even want her to run in the Olympics next year. I want her to take that time off, heal, rest 100%. Because when you've gone through an ACL injury, now this specific injury that she's on doesn't sound that bad. But leg injuries are one of those funny things. And I hope she takes the entire year just to recover. That's how conservative I am when it comes to those type of injuries. You only get one leg, and hey. So, all right. That's all I wanted to focus on. I don't think I have anything else to say about this 200-meter final. Um, as far as coverage is concerned, let me go and focus on my channel for a second and bring it up so that you guys can see. What I've learned is, okay, the first point was Abby Steiner is definitely a popular athlete. View ratio compared to other athletes is 5 to 1, 6 to 1, very high. She will be missed um, unless you guys or half of you guys who are Abby Steiner fans appreciate the other athletes just as much and will be here in the channel to hear me conversate. Um, I'm going to also talk about other new were athletes that are up and coming. Shanta Jackson, Mayor Bray, Bray Peterson, Addy Wally. So you will see some fresh faces because I think that's needed. Uh, about Shakari Richardson, her audience. Okay, Richardson brings views, but Richardson's audience is very interesting. Um, Shakari Richardson did bring a big crowd, but Abby Steiner's crowd is also big. I'd say the same level. However, they are distinctively like different. Shikari Richardson is great at bringing in young people. And I don't know if you guys recall, but I have nieces. They run track. One is in her sophomore year doing pretty good. The other is in her freshman year. They don't know who Sydney McLaughlin Leveroni is. They don't know who Abby Steiner is. The only track Sprinter, you know, is Shakari Richardson out of all of these ladies. So either they have to get more educated or that's who they like. And in track and field, it's like you don't really appreciate teams. It's not like the NBA where you have specific teams. We do have the Nike team. We do have the Adidas team, but it's not the same. So the audience is very decentralized when it comes to athletes. Like I have my own pocket of favorite athletes. You guys do. So thinking about the whole entire space, it's it's really fragmented. That, that's all I'm trying to say. It's very, very much fragmented. There's people who came into this channel, did not know any of these sprinters, but were into long distance. Were Caitlin Tui fans, for example. Um, some folks just didn't care about professional track and wanted to stick to college level NCAA who are big Britton Wilson fans, Talifa Diggs fans. So uh, we're talking about a fragmented sport, which has its pros and cons. That's the best way that I can describe it. I think the future is hopefully these bigger brands like Adidas, Nike, Lululemon. Yes, Lululemon is in track and field. They focus on team building so that they can attract your own audience as well. And Puma. I can't forget Puma. Yeah. Um, so I'm just talking to you guys about the business, the politics, and the whole fragmentation of the sport. But I'm definitely going to really bring in new athletes on this channel and also focus on the Europeans. Because track and field in Europe just feels a bit much appreciated than in the United States for whatever reason. But the reason I could say for the United States is that this competition in bigger professional sports. Where do you fit track and field when it comes to football season, soccer season, hockey season, all these other big sports? So it's one of those things that the whole United States sports complex will have to figure out. And it's really hard to put track and field in between somewhere aside for Olympics and nationals or the diamond league just really taking place after spring and before fall. All right. That's all for my ramble. Um, 
obviously i'm kind of upset standard did not make third but hey i'd rather see her get better rather see her get well but honestly guys for someone that's been running hurt all season she's done incredibly well Tw finished season best 2207 you can't you know that's a good time that is a good time all right let me stop rambling let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next video oh one more thing if there are other athletes you guys want me to cover put it down in the comment section and i'll do a good job of researching and seeing how i can add them into the mix that's all i can do but i can't promise it can't promise anything i have to look at your stats your population all those nerdy metrics out there all right that's all i got for this video have a great day oh I'm sorry one last thing one last thing video of flow track interviewing abby steiner about her injury will be in the comment section and in the description have a great day bye